Okay, we'll see how good this turns out. What we're doing is, uh, they're saying that there's no ADSB, or they question the ADSB output coming out of this 330 extended scooter transponder. We're in maintenance mode, so what I found is uh, things look good up to a point. So far, so good. 20 volt aircraft, contrast is good, VFR key. Okay, right in here, um, got a couple of discrepancies about the input data. Output looks good, the Garmin with TIS. And the 232 input, I think this is where we have a problem. Um, we're going to come a couple steps further. We're going to come to a point where we show the integrity level. Uh, this one here happens to be set at 1E-3, uh, which is the lowest. It should actually be 1E-7. We're not going to make any changes yet. We're going to do a little check in on the software version in the uh, 530 that's driving it. That's enabled. Um, 1090 in no, UAT in no. Those should both be checked. Those should both be enabled as yes. And coding is minus 300 feet. We did have the big lag. I don't know what kind of an encoder they have in here, but it took about uh, almost seven minutes for it to turn on. Everything else looks good in there. So what we're going to do is go back and uh, get the manuals out and do some uh, comparison. We've identified a couple of problems here already. So uh, that's it from the 210 right now. Yeah, one last thing here. I thought I'd just do a quickie uh, of the panel here. Power shut down. Come on, glare. That was going good. And down here on the bottom, cabin pressure differential. Notice the screw hole placement on these. There you go.